Okay, uh, next up is Erica Gamet who is going to be showing us some grep. Now, don't be, a, don't be scared about this. It, it looks freaky at first, but all of you can do this for sure. Okay, Erica, show us this really super powerful grep expression. In this scenario, I have a holiday newsletter and several people have contributed to it. And as I'm looking through the articles and the photos, etc., I noticed that Hanukkah is spelled differently throughout the entire thing. So I got to thinking, Oh, boy, that's a problem. How many ways are there to spell Hanukkah? There's this many, probably more. So that's a lot, and I don't want to have to go through the document looking for each individual iteration of that spelling. So I need a way to change all the spellings quickly. And if you know me, you know that my answer is going to be grep to the rescue. So grep is basically finding patterns of text and then doing something with that text. So in this case, we want to go ahead and take our preferred spelling, which is this way, and we want to replace all the other places, all the other instances of the word with this particular spelling. So we're going to go ahead and look at this list of different ways that it may be spelled, and I want to make sure that our formula that we write will work for that. We're going to use the grep tab in the find change dialog box to find these patterns. So if I look at all these different spellings, I can see that some of the letters, the ones that are in blue, are always there. And other ones might not be there. So if a character is there, it fits the pattern. If it's not, it still fits. So we're going to use what I call the or not expression. So again, the letters in blue are always there, but the ones in gray may or may not be. That's the or not expression, and it's represented by an asterisk, which actually means zero or more times in grep speak. There's also a zero or uh, one time expression, and it's uh, represented by a question mark. So that might suit your purposes better. But anyway, we're going to use an asterisk. So to do that, back in the Find Change dialog box, in the Find What field, we're going to start with a capital H, which may or may not be there. So we go ahead and add an asterisk right after that. Then the next thing might be a capital C, followed by an asterisk. Again, may or may not be there. There's a few more like that, an H and an X. And then it's followed by an A and an N, which are there every time. So they don't need the asterisk. So you're just going to go through each letter this way in order, putting an asterisk if it may or may not be there. And we finish the expression, put it all together, it looks like this. So now we can jump back to our list, and we'll search the story again in the Find Change dialog box, select the story, do the Find What, and then in uh, the Change To, put our proper spelling, change the formatting, I just put a character style in there. And then we can go ahead and hit Change All. And boom, it changes everything to that. So we've standardized the spelling of a word that I have never spelled correctly. And anyway, we can all have happy holidays. Holy Toledo, that was great. Such a simple character. That asterisk can do so much. That that or not expression. So definitely keep that one in your, in your back pocket because you're going to need that sooner or later. You might not be doing Hanukkah stuff, but you're definitely going to want that or not expression when you're when you're trying to search for cool stuff like that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.